What's going on everyone? My name is Hockey Analyst and I'm back, and I'm back for a video. And this video is going to be regarding the trade that just went down between Derek Broussard, I mean I guess the Ottawa Centers, Penguins, and the Vegas Golden Knights. So it was a three-way deal. Now the only reason why I'm doing this trade late and it's going to be a late video for everyone including you guys and for other people that are not subscribed to this channel. The only reason I did it late is first because I was so busy today I couldn't even make a trade. I was so excited when it happened and I just wanted to discuss it with you guys so now I have time. And second of all now that they broke down everything every little piece that happened in this trade and actually it looks much better for Pittsburgh than it looked before um, in terms of what came out first and um, when it when Vegas was included in this I was uh, yeah that was that was quite a deal so yeah there we go we're gonna break it down I have it on my phone and if you guys want to I will break it down for you guys. I won't show the picture because I can't actually, it, it, I can't pull it up. But um, I, I mean like I don't want to show the picture because you're barely going to see and you're going to have to read backwards. So I don't really want to do that but I'm going to read it right now. So it says that the Derek Broussard was traded to the Pittsburgh Penguins on Friday in a three team deal that included Ottawa Centers and the Vegas Golden Knights. Pittsburgh receives Broussard. Ottawa Ford prospect Vince Vincent Dunn, Vegas Ford Tobias Lindberg, and Ottawa's third round pick in 2018 NHL draft. So uh, Pittsburgh actually gets some assets back. They get uh, Tobias Lindberg, who, you know, he has been doing good for Vegas. He has fit in, in the system. He just hasn't produced the points and the goals that w was expected from him. He's only got, I believe, like eight goals in the year and two assists for 10 points. That's not good enough. And um, I don't know who this prospect Vincent Dunn is for Ottawa. I could check right now, but um, I don't want to waste your guys' time. And uh, I'm just saying from what it says here. Then it says Ottawa receives Pittsburgh defenseman Ian Cole. Goalie prospect Philip Gustafson. It's first round pick in 2018 NHL draft. And, and a third round pick in 2019 NHL draft. So Ottawa clearly gets the assets that they want. They get a goalie prospect. They get a uh, Ian Cole, who is apparently going to be traded uh, by Ottawa uh, s soon here because they want to get some assets back. Uh, they get a first-round pick. It's going to be a late first-round pick, and then they also get a third-round pick. So they're clearly going to, you know, draft this year, develop their prospects, get a goaltender prospect that they desperately need it because no, uh, let's let's be honest, no one is coming up after Anderson and Condon after they're up so you know they really need help and they got Gustafson from Pittsburgh and apparently he is rumored to be the future starter so we'll see how he develops now let's get to Vegas Vegas receives Pittsburgh forward Ryan Reeves a fourth round pick and in 2018 NHL draft that belongs to the Vancouver Canucks so Vegas gets a little bit in here and um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that I read on Twitter as well that Vegas will retain 50% of Derek Broussard's salary. It doesn't say here on NHL.com, but it, mu it, it must be something like that. It really has to be. I I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they they'll retain it. Like, f I'm, I'm looking through here, 50%. It doesn't say anything, but I, I I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, someone tweeted on Twitter something wrong. But I I believe that's that's what it is. But I already read you guys the whole thing, so yeah. Like I said, this was the whole trade, and uh, now I want to discuss who actually won the trade. And um, I I don't know. I I feel like. Uh, the winners here, I think, is Ottawa because they got they got the first round pick from Pittsburgh. They also got a third round pick back. They get a goalie prospect. Uh, you know, how much more can you get out of Derek Broussard? I mean, that's a lot you get for Derek Broussard. And uh, let's be honest, this goalie prospect, if he turns to be a starter, this is a steal for Ottawa. This is a steal of a trade for Ottawa. Now, remember that... Their pick that they traded away to the Nashville Predators, or no, no, it was Colorado, sorry. 
um, is actually lottery lottery protected, but they don't have they don't they don't own the picks. So it's good that they have the lottery protected because they would have regretted the trade as soon as probably I don't know December or as as early as November if uh, because the, uh, the downward hill of the Ottawa Center is just you know it, it everything started crashing like in, in two seconds just like that. And uh, if Ottawa stayed competitive, this could have been a very tough, uh, tight division in Atlantic. Because let's be real here. If Florida was as good as it is right now, if Ottawa kept their trend going and still had a lot of those overtime losses, the Atlantic division would be such a dogfight along with Metropolitan. Like, l let's be real here. Um, only four teams would probably make it out of Atlantic. Only four teams would make it out of Metropolitan, which means four really good teams would miss the playoffs out of Metropolitan, and one would miss out of the Atlantic. Now, I think number two who came out in the street is obviously Pittsburgh because they are able to obtain some kind of assets out of the street. I mean, they get a third round pick, they get Oscar Lindbergh from uh, Vegas. I mean, what? <laughs> Like, what more can you get out of this trade? Like, yeah, I'm going to clap to Pittsburgh, but they did a great job. I mean, uh, they're definitely doing something right. I mean, uh, they're back-to-back -back, uh, cup champions. And now that center core of Malkin, Crosby, and Derek Broussard, this is just nasty, man. That is absolutely nasty. Uh, man. Uh, yeah, they're definitely going to go deep in the playoffs. It's no question. But we'll have to wait and see. But I'm really confident in my pick. I believe that Pittsburgh will come out, out of the East this year. Um, for the West, I'm not sure yet. But uh, I believe it will be most likely Nashville. But um, I'm not going to make my picks until the playoffs start. Because I actually need to see which teams make it to the playoffs, which teams don't. Because let's be honest. A team could go on a 10-game losing streak and lose a playoff spot. So... Let's not kid ourselves here. Well, we saw what happened to LA, and uh, you know they're trying to get in the playoffs, but they were first at w one point in their division, so no excuse there. But if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button, make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn on those post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, this has been a, a great, great three-way deal. Um, I can't believe it went down. Amazing to see that one down and uh, I was actually surprised that he was traded to Pittsburgh. I honestly thought that maybe St. Louis was gonna come in and do something, but you know what? It is what it is and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. My name is Hockey Analyst and Enjoy the greatest sport on earth hockey Cheers